Hi, I'm Celine Young, and I'm the Program Director of the Postdoc Academy. And I'm Olivia Chesniak, the Postdoc of the Postdoc Academy. And I'm happy to be here with Celine to continue the conversation about the career planning process. Now that we've talked about the differences between a job and a career, as well as a brief overview of the literature on the career paths that postdocs seek, let's get started. This week, we're going to use a map as an analogy. Before we look ahead to your next career step, Let's first reflect back on the path that brought you to your current position. On your map, your path might have been pretty linear so far. Maybe you earned your bachelor's, completed your PhD, and then started your postdoc position. Your path to a postdoc position might seem linear, but life and your career is more than degrees and jobs. There were likely zigs and zags, ups and downs, noise in the line, originating from both your personal and professional life. Maybe you switch disciplines or join the workforce before entering grad school. Now think for a minute about how you would draw your path so far. When you're thinking about looking ahead on your career path, you might be thinking about your next position. But this week, we really want to encourage you to think of the bigger picture of your career. So we can add an X on our map as your long-term career goal. That's where we find the treasure, or in our case, that's where we want to end up. That's what we're all working for, however we each would define that. As a postdoc, you might be exploring how you would define your career goal and identifying what is most important to you. We are going to call this strategic exploring of a career goal. There are multiple X's on your map. For example, you might enjoy teaching and mentoring students, but you're also interested in making an impact in your field in the biotech industry. You might look for an industry scientist position next, since you might gain experience in many of these areas. But maybe that example doesn't really fit your career plan. You might be more certain about your long-term career goals. There might be really one X that actually stands out on your map. In our example, this person might know that their interest lies in business, and obtaining an industry scientist position is one of the ways to explore that path. Although you might have a well-defined career goal, you might not know what path or position will get you to that career goal, but you're working towards a specific goal. So we're gonna call this navigating towards a career goal. I would fall into this category as my long-term career goal is to lead sustainable change in postdoctoral training. I know where I want to end up, but I'm not really sure yet the best path to take to get there. When you look at other professionals in your field, their career path might seem straightforward. They likely had a plan B or C that you might not see if you look at their map today, and you might not be able to see the paths that led them to their career goals. Listen to these professionals talk about their own career paths. I think that's an excellent question. So I think when I was in graduate school, I had a pretty, um, you know, bare bones set of academic goals where I wanted to get a tenure track job and then I wanted to get tenure. And I think as I started to get comfortable with um, having, um, being an academic, my goals got a little bit more complicated and a little bit more, um, they, they multiplied, so I wanted to be a good teacher, I wanted to be a good colleague and a good mentor to graduate students and to junior faculty, um, and I wanted to continue to do my research, but really realizing that being a successful academic when you're in a, uni a university or higher education setting really isn't just about scholarship, it's also about um, being a good citizen and a good member of the community as well to foster student success, colleague success, staff success. So I entered undergrad as a biology major knowing that I wanted to go to grad school, so that was always my trajectory. But um, while I was in graduate school, I loved the research that I was doing, but I also loved the teaching that I was doing, and I didn't realize that, that was going to be something that's so important to me. And so I knew that my, my next career steps needed to have a heavy emphasis on teaching. And when I started to think about how I would, what are some goals that would get me to that, that, that teaching, um, I realized that there was kind of two places that I was really interested in going. One was actually teaching in the classroom as a faculty member, and the other was actually leading teaching and learning efforts on a campus. And the second um, path was what I ended up going down, and I used my postdoc to kind of launch me into that work. My career goal was to be a history professor, and now I spend my time thinking about demos, customer support, uh, tech support. I actually built our e-learning platform. 
I work with uh, our T IT people to onboard institutions. I think about strategic planning. I work and mentor my team. I think about programming. I think about expanding our reach. I think about messaging. And there's almost nothing that I do now that at all in any way relates to my history degree or my time in the classroom or as a historian. And if, you th if I th would have known that, six or seven years ago that would have caused such panic. And now I really enjoy it. I think that working in the startup space is a really great fit for my talents and abilities. I like the fast pacedness of it. I like the ability to make change quickly. I like being able to think of an idea on Tuesday, implement it on Thursday, review it the following week and see where we got. And I think that this is a space that I would stay in. It's also a space I would have never found had I not quote unquote flunked out of the academic job market. However you think of your career goals, there will be multiple paths to get there. The path you take will be influenced by time, location, and available positions. It's a more complex picture than what you might see on paper. There are also personal considerations that impact your career path. For me, finding a position in the same location as my spouse is really important. Your own path will likely change over time, and that's okay. There are multiple paths to achieving your career goals. If we look closely at the space between your postdoc and your next position, we can think about how you could add multiple dots in that empty space. You can add a dot for the career plan that you will create today. You can also add in dots for things like performing an informational interview or completing a job simulation. Although these dots might seem smaller than those with a well-defined position, they're still important for moving towards your long-term career goal. This week, we're going to provide you with resources to help you along the way. We want you to identify if you are strategically exploring your career goal or if you are navigating towards one career goal like Celine. In other words, are you focusing on one X or several? You might be wondering why we're asking you to choose your own adventure. As you're probably aware, there's a large number of career planning resources available, and it can seem like very overwhelming at times. So we want to help you identify those resources that are most applicable and relatable to your career planning process. Of course, feel free to browse through both parts of this activity.